The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out the day with the euro because we've been watching this very closely. You'll notice the ABCD pattern that we have here went up to the exact number today. And it's backed off just a tiny bit, maybe 20 pips, not doing very much. But it shows the fact that this thing has been in a downtrend. It's completed this uh, really nice ABCD. The key here is if we can get the euro above uh, 111, it's going to be off to the races, and the U.S. dollar will be under uh, a great deal of pressure. It's under some pressure today just because of the um, – the, the British pound has been very, very strong. We had a 200-point move in the British pound, and that went up to some pretty interesting spots. But anyway, uh, the main thing is to keep an eye on this euro, because any move above that 111 would be uh, very, very positive, uh, in my opinion. If you happen to be short this, the risk is now down to about 30 pips, so you don't have to risk an arm and a leg from here. Now, I was saving the, I think Mr. Z is going to call in this morning to uh, talk about the German DAC. But I'll bring it up here just to show you uh, what he had sent me, and then you can take a uh, quick look at it, and we'll move from that area right here. Okay, click this on. And uh, uh, Mr. Z, are you on the line? John, are you there? Good morning, Larry. Good morning, John. How are you this morning? I'm very good. Um, sorry to call in uh, abruptly at the start, but um, history, no, tells call, you, uh, call in history, you, <laughs> history tells me you history tells me you you often start off looking at uh, the German and British uh, stock indices. Yes. A and um, I wanted to ask you uh, if you think I'm crazy to have bought the DAX futures oh, 90 minutes, actually two hours ago. Uh, front running, speculating that the move that we've had today and the past two, that would make uh, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, mm -hmm. is the start of a move to move up and exceed 12,500, 12,650 on a significant run higher uh, in the end of the year. Am I crazy to be betting on that? Well, John, the two things I can promise you. One, you're not crazy because uh, you know what you're doing. And two, that's certainly a possibility. You've, you've already marked it out there that, you know, any any move above that C level or the B level is going to take it possibly up to that level. So uh, on both points, I have to agree with you. In fact, when it gapped up this morning, you could certainly see what was happening in the U.S. markets with the Dow up 300 points and the S&P up 30 and the NASDAQ up 100. You know, everything is good. You you know, all the Chinese things have been uh, solidified and they've uh, written everything down and everything's been finalized. So when you see things like that coming into the news, it's pretty hard to be bearish. But wait, maybe they haven't signed everything. I don't know. But it, you're, you're right on the, the, the DAX. It could easily do that without any trouble at all. And uh, the reason I'm rude. what you're showing in Tiger TV a uh, daily chart going back two years that I sent to you just a half hour ago. And in looking at that pattern, you know, we had a major, well, we had a bear market, a cyclical bear market from uh, early 2000, well, yeah, January 18 into December of 18, and uh, rallied into uh, July this year, set back into August, and as I look at those patterns, I see the potential for A, B, uh, A, B, C, D, or A, B, C's higher. So I'm just using that, that simple pattern uh, that um, um, uh, you've uh, taught repeatedly 
combined with the fact that, um, you know, uh, there's not much en enthusiasm there in German stocks. And then on the fundamental side, we had the ECB just say they're going to goose things more. And uh, it looks like the uh, uh, German government is uh, dedicated to uh, uh, spending more government money. So I'm thinking maybe the things are coming together to uh, get buyers uh, antsy to bid this thing higher. Well, those are all the reasons it could do it, and it's, it's, it's going higher. You know, you're certainly on the right train, so I don't want to derail your train. It looks like it's higher to me. I've lost. Hello? Say again, please. I lost you on the uh, uh, the. Uh, what, what did you ask about the pound? Larry, yes, I uh, uh, very specific on the British pound. Of course, it bottomed September third, rallied up to one twenty five. So it rallied from one twenty to one twenty five, five points. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yesterday, a surge began. It's extended today. So that's not telling uh, anything new to anybody who's watching. My very specific question, please, is this. As a trader, uh, as, you know, we, uh, we blew over 120, uh, excuse me, the prior high was 125.80. So we moved over okay. that this morning. Yes. Uh, An ABCD target is up near 128, 129, that sort of thing. Uh, yes. Uh, for what it's worth, I'm long from last week. People in the den know that. My question mm -hmm. to you as a trader, is there any reason you would um, uh, book gains earlier than reaching that one, that uh, ABCD target? Um, yeah, that's the question. Would you? Well, one of the things I did, I just posted a chart of the uh, British pound over the last seven or eight trading days, and we went up and made some expansion numbers there at 127. I posted it in there. There's in fact, there's several good numbers there, but the key there, if you look at the 125 level last night at the 78% level, you can see how the market just absolutely exploded out of that area. And uh, I have, like you, we've been waiting for this move in the British pound, and we're certainly get it. We're up now just about five handles, uh, actually six handles from the bottom. So uh, we're getting close, and this will be the spot where it'll be hard for people to uh, take profits because they're going to be looking not at uh, 127 or 128. They'll be looking at 150. <laughs> but uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, in the, we're in the zone here where, uh, okay. uh, you know, you've come into some pretty good areas. You know, we're seeing the same thing in the euro, the pound, the yen, the Canadian. All of them look very much, uh, very much the same as all this emotionalism is coming to a head. And maybe it's just <laughs> starting. I don't know. Yeah, I, I do have to just, uh, in closing, thank you. Uh, of course, uh, uh, you know, but uh, your listeners may not. I've been your student oh, for 10 years now. And uh, one thing I've come to learn... And hey, John, we've got, to, we've got to pay a few bills. We've got to pay a few bills. Could you stay with us till after the break? Surely. Please do, yes. John Cherveny, folks, from uh, the Tiger Den. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Mr. Z from the Den. You had some other comments to make, John. You want to go ahead? Yes, um, just to continue. When I heard you say, well, some people were along the British pound when you get to 127 and 128, might be thinking 150. I just had to chuckle, Larry, because uh, before I met you, that's, that sort of thinking fit my MO perfectly, to my detriment. Uh, and after years of hard work and uh, learning uh, and uh, getting your counsel amongst others, uh, I'm now the type of trader who uh, salivates to say, give me 127 and 128 on my long British pound so I can book a gain there and if we uh, blow past, uh, you know, targets or uh, resistance levels, I'll know how to get back in. But uh, uh, that process of learning from you has uh, assisted me greatly in just eliminating all emotions uh, whatsoever. It's never hope. It's never fear. It's just do your work and let the uh, winners take care of themselves while keeping your losers small. Well, that's what you try to do, my friend. You certainly have. Thanks for the kind words, John, and I'll get that $20 in the mail to you just as soon as I can, okay? Yeah, I could use that for drink tonight. <laughs> it's Friday, sir. Okay. Hey, thanks for calling in. Say, Mr. Z, stay with us because I'm going to be talking about gold next, and I think you'll uh, you'll be interested in what we're looking at here uh, at this pattern that we're seeing in the gold. So uh, fact is, while you're on, just stay with me. I'll just show you that you can see here that uh, we've got something that looks pretty interesting now. Uh, uh, in the gold market, let's just get this up here so you can take a look at it. I know you like these uh, these Gartley patterns, and as you can see here, uh, we've come down and we've made that uh, ABCD structure down right near the 61% retracement. We're trading around 1490 right now. The number came in around 1487. So uh, there's a possibility here we might get a little bit of a rally in gold, but any move below 18. Whoa, 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 Larry. Uh, 14, uh, uh, 1480 would certainly tell us that we're most probably going to be heading down to the uh, 1440 level in the gold. But right now, it's a beautiful ABCD, and uh, it's not a head and shoulders pattern. Uh, someone already asked me about this. If you'll notice the pattern there, the low on the 17th of uh, September, 
uh, is it's uh, actually higher than the low that we're having right now, but there's no symmetry. In other words, from the left shoulder to the head, head to the right shoulder, there's not any symmetry there. So that's not a, a real bona fide uh, 100% head and shoulders pattern, so I don't use it. So, But it is an ABCD. It is a Gartley. It shouldn't get below 1486 if it's good, and that's the way I see it. Yeah, I, uh, I, from a trader's perspective, I'm handling it identically to yours as I'm looking in Tiger, Tiger TV. That low that occurred uh, September 30th, Monday, Monday night into Tuesday morning, October 1st, that marked just that beautiful. I mean, you just can't can't uh, construct a pattern that fits into a textbook better than that, where you had literally within two or three dollars an ABC, AB equals CD target met. Mm -hmm. That nice $50 rally into last Thursday, and then once again another ABCD down. And, uh, you know, from a trader's perspective, this, uh, yeah, well, you've trained me to think like you. You salivate for little opportunities like this because you can buy it here, and you'll quickly know whether you've got something or not. And like you said, we don't know the future. Certainly, this could be a case where we uh, head lower, get down to 1470 and lower. But uh, right here is the spot where we'll uh, soon find out which scenario it is, and if it is a low, uh, the uh, potential is we start to head back higher and, uh, you know, eventually uh, retest that September 4th high up mm -hmm. near 1565. So uh, so thanks for all you do. It's uh, all very obvious what to do. Mm -hmm. uh, knowing the future, of course, we don't know, but uh, this is great. Hey, John, since uh, we've got you on here, we'll just look at one other that I know you have an interest in, and that is the soybean market, because they're having a uh, big meeting, of course, and they're going to solve all of our problems. But uh, I know one of the things that you like to look at are the ABCD patterns. And if you take a look here uh, at the March soybeans, uh, we completed that pattern. Uh, well, you can see the little, it's three days in a row, three little higher highs. Gee, what do they call that pattern? I keep forgetting. Anyway, but we're up in some pretty strong resistance here at 960 uh, in the uh, in the March bean so I would sort of uh, pay attention to that we're up 10 days now without a correction so that's another reason to maybe uh, even if they do decide to sign all the papers and everything uh, there might be some profit taking up in this area in the March beans but again you know I'm just a technician I don't follow the fundamentals so keep in mind keep an eye on that one because that could be a double top up there too from the June let highs me, uh, but uh, let me Add to that, sir. Um, I've just posted in the Tiger's Den that same soybean chart, but I've given you five, wor five years' worth of data on the weekly chart. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do see what you're showing on your daily chart. And this is where the, uh, this is the, uh, for me, the uh, great utility of uh, Tommy O'Brien's uh, invention, TFNN. You get uh, disciplined traders who can look at things totally different differently, just like all market participants do. Uh, you know, there's buyers and there's sellers, each with their own views. In my particular case, uh, Larry, I'm focusing on the weekly chart and observe that so, uh, the soybean price bottomed last, I guess it was May, uh, completing a three, yes, a three-year bear market, 1220 down to uh, 790. And the rally that has occurred uh, the past four weeks and extending to this week appears to me to be likely, Larry, an ABCD rally that extends up closer to 980 on the spot month. And I just remind myself that March contract you're dealing with has got 25 cents of embedded storage costs in it. So, um, um, so uh, I'm thinking the rally has occurred, pullback certainly likely or certainly possible, if not likely. But uh, I'm playing for another uh, 40 to 60 cents higher on this uh, to reach that weekly chart ABCD target. Mm -hmm. That's certainly possible. That's what uh, should keep your focus on that, because anything above that uh, 962 level will certainly tell us that that's most probably what's going to happen. Thanks so much for your help. I love you doing this show. This is great.
Oh, John, thank you for calling in. We certainly appreciate all you do at TFNN. Uh, John is in the den every day posting his charts and his uh, trades that he's actually doing, where the stops are, and he's doing it in live, folks, so that you can actually see a real trader do what he does, and he does a fabulous job. There's just, uh, you should go in and test it. If you're looking for some ideas, uh, you know, John does a, a really great job, and that's www.tfnn. Check on the, the Tiger Den, and you'll see there's about oh, anywhere between oh, 40 and 70 traders in there every day looking at the markets, and they're pretty smart folks. We'll take a break here, 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under trading newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we've been asked to take a look at a couple of different things. The first one we're going to look at is for Ruby, and this is going to be uh, your sugar. Uh, you'll come up here and you'll see that we had a really nice move up in sugar. Now we're pulling down into that 61% retracement, following uh, pretty much uh, what we've been watching here. So we'll see if it's going to hold up at this level. But uh, it's uh, it's certainly completing that pattern that we're watching. Now we've had a couple other requ requests here this morning that I would like to, uh, to get to. And the next one... Uh, 
is hold on one second here and it will be the uh, coffee and if we can just get coffee here we should be okay here we are and you'll come up here now we're looking at coffee is a little bit of, of a different program now one of the things that I did last Friday was is that uh, if we were to break that uh, downtrend line you'll notice that that would have set up an ABCD structure down to a double bottom at the 78 percent level that was from 99 uh, to 92 and a half and that's what we hit so far now that means we should be uh, at this we're at 90 <coughs> excuse me right at 93 as long as we can stay above 92.50 this still has a pretty good chance of making a bottom here uh, at the 78 percent level but that's neither here nor there but now that's the coffee and that's the sugar the next one we want to look at is the old christmas corn for our good friend up in spokane i guess they're getting all kinds of snow up in that area but uh, let's take a quick look at it here okay let's all we got to do now is to find it therein lies the rub ah and here is the rub we got the corn this one's been pretty nice to us let's get this up here so we can take a look at it because it's got some really beautiful patterns here, folks. All right, this is the largest crop that we have in the country. Um, look at the bottom here back in May. This is what you can see that uh, a beautiful butterfly pattern that we had there. Uh, then the news came out, that, and the weather came out, and it was raining like heck, and looked like we're gonna, the, the corn was going to be planted underwater. It rallied up a dollar a bushel, then it made a 1-3-5 pattern just absolutely perfectly. Each of the ratios lining up just as perfect as you can get. The market then broke down really, really hard, then rallied back to a 382 retracement up there at uh, 426. And from there, uh, totally uh, lost it. And you see that it had a tremendous move down uh, with an ABCD structure, bottoming again with a three drive to a bottom pattern and a very large ABCD. And from that level, we've been able to rally from 355 up to 395. Uh, we got out of our longs at 392. And we suggested that it was going to go to a three 382 retracement at uh, 377. The low yesterday was 378. Uh, we're now trading at 386. And with the news coming out that all this Chinese stuff is going to be under the table uh, as far as being completed, it looks like it's a done deal. They've told everybody that it's a done deal. So it must be a done deal. They would certainly not tell us something that's not true. I really don't believe that. So anyway, those are the ones that we're looking at here. Uh, yeah, Bob, I noticed we were watching on the uh, the news that Spokane uh, got snow. Boy, that's and 25 degrees, shut the front door and raised the rent. That's that's a, that's a little too cold for this old cowboy. All right, let's uh, take a look at one other market that's uh, in the in the news tonight, and I wanted to uh, I wanted to bring it to your attention here. If you hold on just a second, uh, in fact, we just talked about it with Mr. Z, and that's that British pound. So I really I don't think we need to. Uh, well, since I said something, I'll get it up here, and you'll be able to take a look at it. There we go. 11 degrees in oh Park City, Utah. 11 degrees. Wow. It's going to be a chilly day here. It's going to be about 88 degrees. It's lower, lower than what we had yesterday, which was 89. So we've got a bit of a cold spell coming in here uh, to Tucson. All right. This is the uh, the British pound, and we, we hit some pretty stiff resistance up here at this 127 area, but whether that stops it or not, I don't know. The key was uh, last night was that 78% uh, level at 125. Uh, you know, we had that big move up into it, and boy, I uh, if, if it takes off from there, folks, it doesn't have anything. Just like if we take off above 127, we could be at 128.50 to 129 today without any uh, without any any trouble and most of these things are, are going by what's happening with uh, little little Trumpy over there uh, Boris uh, little Trump Johnson uh, he did a good deal with the Irish uh, folks over there and it looks like they're going to uh, be able to put this Brexit thing to bed sometime in our lifetime and that depends on how old you are so um, we'll watch those as we see we've got a bunch of other stuff happening but you know who knows that these are you know I for I'm a <laughs> I'm a technician, folks. You know, I really don't. Uh, I haven't. I have not read a newspaper, and I'm. You know, 
Well, never mind. I, I just I'm just a technician. Okay, let's take a look here at a few other things that I that I think are relatively important, but that I don't know for sure. Here's what happened last night, uh, folks. Uh, in the crude oil, we were we were looking at this uh, just as it was happening. Uh, you'll notice that the the crude oil made a 61% retracement from the high we made back on September 30th. That was a perfect ABCD structure. Uh, we've given up a little bit of it. We got down to 53.72 uh, so far this morning, so we dropped just about a dollar a barrel. Anything above that level, above 55, would certainly say that it's a, a very, very uh, positive thing uh, to the upside. Uh, yes, the natural gas, we've been talking about that, Terry. It's just not ready. We've been waiting, and I believe that we're going to have to get down uh, a little bit lower. Let's bring this up here so we can uh, reiterate what we were looking at so that the folks can uh, see what we're watching here. We want to get this up, take a look at it. I'm glad you brought this up. Uh, oh, remind me to do something. Yeah, I, I really think we're going to get down to this 216 level and possibly even down to the 207. That's what I'm looking at. So, um, the, the, you know, folks, when you, these patterns fail, you got to get out of the way because, you know, you don't know where they're going to go. You know, this is a, that's the problem. You think they're going to go there, but you don't know where they're going to go. Nobody knows that except God, and she doesn't trade. So you've got to, you've got to, it's all about the risk control and you have to take the responsibility for it, folks. You know, and you know, I give you some ideas and stuff, you know, uh, per, per, well, <laughs> a perfect example, you know, we went short to stock index futures on September the 13th at 3018. Okay. The high was 3025 and they dropped over 125 handles. Uh, well, no, well, yeah, 100, no, more than that. It went all the way down to, what, 28 and change? So it dropped a, a great deal. Now, you know, when it gets down to that area, we had some really strong support in that area. And look what we're doing now. We're coming back here in ABCD format in, in the face of this uh, Chinese thing. And uh, they're telling everybody that it looks like it's a done deal. It's all smiles and giggles. So, you know, that's the way it looks like. Sometimes these patterns fail. So you just got to say, we, hey, we've seen it in everything. We've seen it fail in so many things that uh, you shouldn't even be surprised. You don't know which ones are going to work. Nobody knows that. You know, we go through those four fears all the time, you know, the fear of missing out, the fear of losing money, the fear of being wrong, you know, the fear of leaving money on the table. Every one of those fears you go through on every single trade that you do, so that's all a bunch of BS. If you want if you want fake news, those four fears are your fake news because they're there all the time. You cannot get rid of those. The only way you're going to, you know, uh, fear of leaving money on the table is if you get the high tick, and nobody gets that. 877-927-6648. If you are in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom 
Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting tfnn.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, here we have a Friday. We're coming into a full moon here on Sunday. So we're going to see how that works out. By the way, I will be doing Tom O'Brien's show today at 3 o'clock, setting in for the master himself. So we'll play, uh, pay close attention to that uh, as we look at it. Let's take a quick look here since we were discussing about crude oil, folks, because one of the things that we looked at in the newsletter, we'll be able to see here that uh, – uh, Marshall is asking a question, which, what has been the best on the average percentage of the winders patterns and fibs or the AI? The AI is a totally different than artificial intelligence. It's only for day trading, and it has a high probability in the area of about 7 out of 10. But the patterns and the ratios, if you can get around 60 percent, a lot of people get a lot higher. But if you can get around 60 percent, you're going to do okay because your winners are so much bigger than your losers. And that's the whole key. Focus on how much money you're going to lose not how much money you're going to win. So those are just <clears throat> some of the things that you want to uh, to keep an eye on. Let's take a quick look here now at this crude oil. Uh, the thing we focused on in the futures section, you'll notice we had that triple bottom there at the 50, uh, uh, well, it's just right at 51 and change. Uh, we, we rallied up to 50, uh, almost 55 last night. And uh, with the news being, uh, you know, those tankers being hit or whatever it was, some type of a scrimmage somewhere and we had a pretty good rally we, we but we sold off a dollar a barrel hit major support down there at that 5360 level and we'll see whether that's going to, to hold up or not but this is a uh, very important chart because anything below 51 would certainly tell us that we're looking at something a whole lot more sinister you know on the downside if that's uh, if that's the case the important part about this chart though that I think is really important if you look at September the 13th where you see we're made an 80%, which is spot on to a 78.6% retracement level. That's when those drones hit uh, Saudi Arabia. The market gapped up $9 a barrel and gave back, what did it give back? It gave back from, uh, went from uh, 63 down to 51. It gave back $12 a barrel, and we've been able to rally back $3 a barrel, uh, $3.5 a barrel since that time. So uh, there's a lot of uh, news that hits this market, so you've got to be very, very careful to see if we can clear 5,550 uh, today in the crude oil, then you'd have something that would really look at like it's going to be uh, something that's going to be uh, you know really quite so spectacular. So we'll we'll see how these things uh, move out. We got the stocks opening sharply higher today. Got the S and P's up 30 plus. The Dow Jones is up over 300. The Nasdaq up over 100. Everything is moving good. Take a look at that Nasdaq, folks. If you like to uh, use 20 minutes words. Do uh, uh, defy human nature. Do the work yourself. There's a beautiful pattern happening right now in the Nasdaq. Very, very, uh, very, very beautiful pattern. So, whether that's going to mean anything or not, you know, we'll have to uh, 
have to wait and see as we go through uh, looking at some of these things. The British pound uh, is approaching that 127 level. Remember that there is a big ABCD on the weekly at 128, and that'll be one that will be uh, quite interesting to uh, pay attention to as we look at some of these things this morning. But we've had a really strong opening here, and uh, you, we know the markets uh, always go straight up after they open sharply higher, with the Dow being up uh, 300 points. And we're going to watch what it does at the end of the day, because that's when it'll be the most exciting. Back to the notes and the bonds, folks. You'll notice that uh, the Federal Reserve is going to buy you know, bills and bonds. And what are they doing? They're going straight down ever since the Federal Reserve came in there and told us back there on the 6th of October that that's what they were going to do. We've now dropped uh, 500 points in the bonds, 300 points in the uh, three handles in the, the uh, uh, Treasury notes. So that market is the Treasury notes have definitely had a major top up in this area. So they should be watched for some serious uh, movement if we get down to these uh, levels of uh, what we're watching here. Uh, today. But remember, if we can get those bonds above that 165 level, then you could be looking at negative interest rates, and it could be something that we would be watching uh, maybe for a little bit longer move. But right now, that's a major top. We're almost uh, at the 61% uh, retracement. It comes in at 160 on the D bonds. If we get there, there should be some uh, spot there that would look at like it's going to be uh, very, very uh, uh, Important. That's that's what I would think. So we'll see if, in fact, that is uh, going to be the case. Someone's asked a question about uh, the emotionalism in the market, folks. I have no idea what that emotional stuff is. All I do is I look at the numbers. We had a big day yesterday. The Dow up, uh, you know, 300. The S&P up 20 or 250. The S&P up 25 or something. I looked at the open interest, and there was hardly any change in open interest in any of those things. So there are some people that are not participating in this. So whether that happens or not, you know, remains to be seen. But let's keep a uh, keep a close eye on it to how it ends up today, because these ABCD patterns, even though they fail, they do work part of the time, and that's the that's the key thing to be watching. Okay, Ruby's asking a question: At what level will natural gas turn to be bullish? Ruby, I won't be able to tell you that till two days after it happens. That much I can promise you. All I know is, look at the I'm looking at this December crude oil out here at around the uh, two. 10 level. I don't know where it's trading right now, but you know, we, we watched it several times. It had it started like it wanted to, and then you know, went right back below those levels. And once they go below those new levels, Ruby, you know as well as I do, you just can't stand in front of it. I mean, there's just no way that, that you can possibly do it. So it's on the watch list, but uh, you know, we'll be able to see. But where is where is December crew trade, uh, December natural gas trading at right now? Is it, it, I don't think that's at 250. Is it was it November that I was looking at? I think well maybe it was November at 220. That it might have been November at 220. If 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 it's trading at 250, 2.50 in December, they've already discounted some type of a major, uh, you know, collapse in uh, natural gas. Remember, remember, folks, when we were in the room here, Mr. Z was getting bearish at this stuff at 4.2, and now it's uh, you know two and change. So you know, pay attention to what he tells you because he gives you some really good moves. And sometimes they don't work, but you know, just like anything else, nobody's right all the time. I mean, you know, you got to kiss a lot of frogs while you're in that swamp in order to find the princess. That's what they say in the trade. All right, we got the a break coming up in a little bit. The stock market's up 300. Dece is at 240. Yeah, well, I'm I'm looking at Dece at around 220, Marshall. That's what I'm looking at. The Dece natural gas somewhere between 230 and 220. When the pattern fits up at that area, then I think we'll take a look at it. Uh, you know, you know, we, we, it, it has some really nice bottoms, and then it rallied up, and then once it goes below those levels, you know, as soon as you have a nice profit in something, folks, you know, it's pretty hard to let it go to a loss. Like, you know, if you sold the S&P at uh, 3018 on September the uh, 18th that uh, we were looking at, you don't want that to get above 3018. So you're in a break-even trade if that's it. It's trading at, what, 2977 uh, uh, or something right now? So that's, uh, that's a thing that you— uh, Keep an eye on because it's going to be uh, very, very important, at least from watching it the way we watch it. And sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong, but uh, pay attention to it. All right, we've got a break coming up, I believe. And when we come back, we will uh, get back and answer some, one more question that someone had uh, about the. Uh, 
uh, Bitcoin, and I'll do that when we get back from the break. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to post the chart for the Bitcoin, and you'll be able to see uh, what we're talking about. And when we get back from the break, we'll talk about Bitcoin. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're going to take a look here at the uh, uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. I put up this uh, hourly chart, and you can see it's making an ABCD up here. Remember, these ABCDs sometimes fail, so pay close attention to that. I wanted to share with you uh, one other chart that one of our listeners sent on to me, and that is it's a, it's a, uh, it's a home-building company, folks, NVR, and look what it's done compared to the S&P 500 over the past uh, eight months. I mean, this has just been a a roaring market you know it's just been uh, extremely extremely strong whereas the S&P has been you know more or less uh, in a well in a sideways motion ever since uh, uh, July but uh, September 13th is when we had the sell-off and now we're rallying back in ABCD uh, format so we'll watch that uh, closely as we go through and watch some of these things but we're having a lot of strength now we're up what 40 handles now uh, in the S&P and up what 300 50 in the Dow looks like it's never going to go down and 
you know, they might be right today. This could be one of those that uh, make it look real interesting. So pay attention to it. Okay, folks, uh, we've got the gold down now to 1485. There's the key level, folks. If we get much below 1483, uh, we're going to be looking at a market that's going to go a whole lot lower. So watch that 1485 level uh, very, very closely. The, the risk is off in the, in the gold market, and the risk is on in the stock market. So that's, uh, that's what's going on here. So we'll keep an eye on these as we go through the uh, time here. We'll wait for the news coming out of Washington on whether our trade deal is going to be a trade deal or not be a trade deal. This is the key. My guess is, with all the smiles and everything, they've been so nice to uh, get this thing done. We'll see what happens to it. So pay close attention to it, folks. Uh, that's what we're watching here this morning. So uh, what else do we have to look at? I think that's about it. Um, we've got the break coming up. I'll be on at the 3 o'clock show today, 3 to 4, for Tommy O'Brien, the uh, wrap, uh, market wrap-up. And uh, we'll uh, be the last hour of trading, which will be fun to watch. I'll share some stuff on the AI with the folks there. Anyway, that's it, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.